What makes it such a complex situation is that on the one hand, the government has announced that this is a historic moment whereby a state-owned entity in KMHL has taken over the SML for Pogara. And on the other hand, the previous owners, Barrick New Guinea Limited, will be challenging the court's ruling, dismissing their case on the special mining lease. And it's the landowners caught up in the middle. Earlier today, as part of that historic moment, captured at the state conference room in Parliament, it was a celebratory mood for the government. Mining Minister John Santuke stating, due process was followed under the law and there was no political influence when the SML was recommended to the National Executive Council by the Mining Advisory Committee. MAC is one of the independent process within MRA. They conduct due diligence on all our, uh, our mining activity within the country. Prime Minister James Marape thanking those involved, calling it a historic day for the country, and citing that both KMHL and Barrick had applied for the SML, but due to Barrick's handling of the previous special mining lease, Kumul Minerals was granted the lease. As government, national government, we will involve every landowner in the process. We don't come with any strings attached. Ours is an agenda of national interest. But all is not well. The Pogara Special Mining Lease Area landowners are claiming the state has acted without consultation. Mark Akepa, a former chairman of the PLOA, saying that despite multiple calls by the landowners for former owners of the SML barrack to remain, it was a call that fell on deaf ears. And then I went direct with the developer. Now work him a, a negotiation one time and I give him some blow offers, which is paper me only messed up. Now me give me you long, Prime Minister. You ain't giving me you long Thursday afternoon and then Friday afternoon you work him decision long, refusing my extensions. That frustration shared as a member of the PLOA MOA renegotiation committee, Ray Pundi, expressed the further sentiments of the landowners. Uh, by the power of the government, they did all these things by, th by themselves. There's no proper consultations conducted with the landowners. Despite this, Peter Graham, Kumul Minerals Holdings Limited Managing Director, has backed the Prime Minister's sentiments. We intend to start in a small way to try and attract third parties to come and work with us to explore and develop the natural resources that Papua New Guinea is blessed with. And getting started with Pogra Mine is going to be one very significant step along that way. What has caused the most consternation between all stakeholders involved is what Akapa says is the government pushing an agenda separate to what the people want. The Prime Minister saying the due process was followed. We also prepare for WAFI and other projects going forward. And to our landowners and Anga provincial government, I know you all will be complaining you're not representing, you're not being represented in this occasion. But as soon as the official transfer has taken place, or at least is now in the, in the hands of Kumul uh, Mineral Holding Limited, uh, the S&T and Kumul Mineral will make it their responsibility to talk to our landowners. Ekepa refuting it outright. It comes in on as a government, Bungi Mibla want them. Now in Ablong, Mibla sit down, how to go about, you may discuss what they are. But government is a politician, one side Adam story now. Under the new SML, Kumul Minerals Holdings Limited is required to apply for all permits needed and also conduct consultation with landowners within 18 months of the SML being granted. And while KMHL still has 18 months to complete all requirements, they may face delays as Barrick has decided to challenge the SML in the Supreme Court. What is understood, however, is that despite the disagreements between the various parties, that the benefits must come back to the people. All sides are quite keen to avoid the turmoil that engulfed the nation in the late 80s that is only just recently beginning to heal. Jeremy Moggy, National TV News.